Amatuba Judge, and I'm so blessed for his God to be bringing God's truth to you today. Hey, we're going to continue from where we stopped yesterday because it's so important you get him. But before going to that, can we make demand for our daily bread? Join me right now in faith and say, Father, I receive right now my daily bread. It is coming to me in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. You know, I was sharing with you yesterday from Galatians chapter 5 and verse 6. And we're dwelling on that part. The faith works by love. And I was explaining what faith is to you yesterday. And I said, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So there is no faith without substance. So I was explaining to you yesterday that the substance are things you have heard about, you have experienced. Now, not phys not personally now, but you have experienced in other people or you heard about other people. Those are the things that form the substance. Those are the things you call evidence. Now, you want to experience something, whether good or bad. Now, yesterday I was trying to I was trying to teach you how fear works. So fear is actually the, the, the opposite of faith, or you say faith in. See that now? So when someone is afraid, when someone is walking in fear, he is actually walking in faith. So why is he afraid? Why are you afraid of, uh, for example, you know, why would you be afraid of a lion? Because you are expressing faith in now you may not have seen a lion you know you know bite you before but you've heard that lion can kill you've heard that lion can eat up you know fresh people or, or animals and things like that you you may have watched it in, in in documentaries and things like that now that information is now a substance are you get what I'm saying? Now, so when you process that substance in your mind and then you are walking towards believing that, now this is negative, you find yourself afraid. So, ah, no, I don't want to go near a lion. I don't want to go into that forest. Oh, you know, oh, let's go to a um, safari. Ah, no, 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 no. Please, please, please. I don't want to get into those things. Why? You are demonstrating faith. But now it is fear. So your, your faith is in that substance that you have heard or you have um, experienced. Now, you know what I mean by experience. So you are demonstrating faith. But now this is, this is on the opposite direction now because it's causing fear in your heart. So now turn it over and he says, what is important is not circumcision and uncircumcision. Now, this circumcision and un uncircumcision is the same way of saying no other thing. You know, I was telling you last week, principles, laws, all those things don't matter. Because God didn't line up principles that you must get to. If you, if you accomplish this principle, then you will get to God. No, there is no such thing. That's what Paul was saying here. Circumcision, nothing. Uncircumcision, nothing. But faith which walketh by love. So faith now. Jesus said, have faith in God. Have substance in God. Have substance in God. Substance of things you have not seen. Substance of things you are hoping for. Have that substance in God. So when now, now listen to me, when you begin to experience or open yourself to experiences of God's touch, God's testimony, people testifying about what God have done. I remember I was telling you yesterday, why it's important uh, not, not to lie, not to tell lies and call it, you know, you know there are people who do that. I've, I've seen people who fabricate stories and call it testimony. And they say, oh, this is what God, and everything they say was just a fabrication. 
Now, why that is dangerous is because someone is going to hold that as their substance. And then at the end of the day, they are expecting God to do something that he didn't do before, but they feel or thought he did. Are you getting it? Now, that's why, thank you, Holy Spirit. When he says faith which walketh by love, he's telling you the faith, the substance that comes from God. I call Mm. Now, this is not just talking about reading your Bible and getting all those informations from it. This is not talking about every other person. This is talking about you and God. So what does it mean, faith which walketh by love? He is saying faith, substance, evidence that comes from God. Yeah, that's what he's talking, telling you about. The evidence that comes from God. Now, now, for example, what we do every 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 day on this broadcast, you know, when we call forth and say, let's call for our daily bread, or let's make requests for our daily bread. Now, how did that come about? It came about through love. Now, here is it. The word of the Lord came to me. Now, what is that? substance and he said every day on this broadcast this is what i want you to do okay sir and then now when you take it deeper you realize that that's not the first time god is talking about that jesus himself in what we call the lord's prayer taught us to pray give us this day our daily bread Okay, so now that itself is substance. And then we take it, we stretch it further. Jesus was not the first person that even thought about that or experienced that or said that. David said it. He daily loads us with benefits. What is that? Substance. Now, this chain of substance, David Jesus and the word of God that came to me. Now these all form the experience or substance and they are all in God. Praise God. And guess what? They are all in love. So now I think about it. David said he daily loads us with benefits. Wow, substance. Jesus said give us this day our daily bread. Wow, substance. And I am here. The word of the Lord comes to me. I said, on this broadcast, you must lead the people to make this demand like this. What is that? Substance. Now, in the mouth of three witnesses, it is just established. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It is established that God provides for his own. Praise God. He provides for his children. And he provides it, he provides it from the place of love. So now, I begin to release my mind and my heart on this substance. See that now? So now when I say, I have faith, I have substance. So my faith is not blind. My faith is not uh, not empty. There is substance in it. And this substance, what makes it work is because it is God. Now, Now, I have the evidence with me that it is God that spoke to me. Praise God. And then I have this lined up Uh, pattern so now I know when I read of David that truly God spoke to him how do I know God truly spoke to him because he spoke to me too Uh, are you sure it was God that spoke to you yeah now you know when God speaks to you 
You know, now nah, I know some people don't know. Some people are still confused about, uh, I don't know whether it's God or is my mind. Hey, it's very simple. It's very simple. When God speaks to you, you'll never forget it. When God speaks to you, the word will be in your heart because, hey, he is a spirit. He doesn't speak to your ears. He speaks to your heart. He speaks to your spirit. Now you hear his voice. It just registered as light in your spirit. Now that's why sometimes we, we, when we talk and we tell dates and tell, tell you things that happened 20, 30 years ago, and we give you the date and the time and tell you the place, not because we crammed it, but because it's just light inside of us. So when you think about it, everything replaced, everything comes alive in you as though it just happened yesterday. Because it's light. See, you're, you're functioning in the light of that thing that came. So now you're seeing here that what is important with God is faith, which the power of it is love. And because God who is love will speak to you, I, I tell you this, if you don't hear the voice of God, if you, if you don't experience God, something is wrong with you. It's not normal. No, it's not normal. Something is wrong. When last did you hear the voice of God? It, it's not normal. Are you, how do you, you know, you know, sometimes, hmm, you know, you just want to wonder, so how do you live? No, really, how do you live? He says, man shall live by every word that proceeds, not proceeded, proceeds from the mouth of God. So when last did you receive words from the mouth of God? Eh, I don't, how do you know you are living? Are you alive? True. Every believer in Jesus Christ must be conscious about this and what is it what is most important in life is the word of god that is coming to me it's not the rules that have been set it's not the legalistic thing that have been put in place no sir no sir you know they tell you oh you know you you have to you have to um, um, um there are different phases in life all those kind of teachings people have received praise god oh you have to have multiple streams of income and and then you start thinking of yourself like Wow, man, I, I think I'm failing. I think I'm failing. No, all those things mean nothing. Believe me, they mean nothing. What matters? <laughs> you remember Jesus was with the disciples and with this crowd and they were in the wilderness. Now, what calculation are you going to, how, how are you going to come up with that idea of feeding that whole crowd? Now, Jesus did not plan for it. He didn't tell the disciples, oh, we're going to have three days meeting. Now, you guys, after the three days meeting, we're going to feed the whole crowd. You know, so, so um, um, Peter, you're in charge of, well, you're in charge of this, um, take notes. And Peter says, okay, Andrew, um, go find the nearest uh, bakery in, in that place. So when it's time to feed, you just have to send some, maybe six people to go down to the bakery and bring all the bread they are going to break. You know, uh, no, no plan. They had this meeting for three days and, and the disciples were worried. And I said, Master, I think you've got to send these people home because yeah, we don't want them to faint on us faint on us yeah because they've been with us three days they've not eaten and jesus said, oh yeah that's true let's feed them <laughs> you don't just wake up and say let's feed over five thousand people just by the thought of it yeah let's feed them <laughs> where are we going to bring he says ah, it's okay what do you have now before then this boy this little boy had had brought his bread and and fish, five loaves and two fishes as offering. And he had given it to the disciples. So they had it. And Jesus said, what do you have? They said, we have nothing but five loaves and two fishes. 
Well, Jesus said, that's okay, that's fine. That's fine as in they should go, right? No, no, that's fine. We'll use that to feed the people. You use what? Five. I didn't say 5,000 loaves. I said five loaves of bread and two fishes. Two, not 20,000. Two fishes. Five loaves. You say, yeah, bring it to me. Okay? Let the people sit down in 50s. Now, Peter, be in charge of that. Make sure everybody's sitting in 50. Okay. You've heard the master? Go, you, go there, you. Okay. And Jesus said, Father. You, you imagine what was going through their mind when he took those loaves and said, Father. Now, everybody's seated. Why were they seated? We want to feed you. With what? And Jesus lifted up his loaves and said, Father. <laughs> okay. We've seen this man turn water into wine and everybody drank and we're happy. But this one, this one, okay, let's see what's going to happen. Father, thank you because you hear me. And Lord, how to feed these people like you've told me. So bless this bread and multiply it. And so imagine him splitting it to the disciples, and there were 12 of them. So he, he, he broke those five loaves into 12 places and gave to the disciples. Now, have you ever thought about what happened while they were sharing the, that loaf? Have you ever thought about what they experienced? That's why I told you, there are many things that are not written. If they should all write their experiences with Jesus, praise God. How? how they began to share that thing and says, okay, you take, um, no, no, you have it. I, I imagine sometimes how they started that. I imagine if they had this confidence that, okay, or, or maybe they, they, they started that, uh, Peter, how do we share this? He said, just, just cut small. Jesus said, no, don't cut small. Let the people cut what they want to eat. Okay. <laughs> Take. No, no, I didn't say take all, just cut. Imagine this person cuts. Holy kabusha. Now imagine someone cuts this small loaf and, and he just eating. And you know, talking to his friend and eating. And then you realize that you're eating that loaf until man, I'm full. You're full? I'm full. Ah, even me, I'm full. I don't think I want to eat this <laughs> again. Uh, me too, I'm full. What do we do now? You, know, you just gather, you just put it here. You know. uh, me too, I'm full. You know, in that unit, you know, 50. You know. Uh, me too, I'm full. You know, and, and then you just drop. And then the disciples are just going around. And then the next thing, like, everybody's like, ah, ah, thank you guys, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I'm full. You're full? And Jesus said, Got out the fragments, and then they carry their baskets and, and, and go in there. Put it, don't throw it, don't, don't, don't throw it away, just put it there. And then they gathered 12 baskets. Now, because there were 12 disciples who were sharing, imagine if there were 30 disciples, they would have gathered 30 <laughs> baskets. Praise God. Have you ever thought about that? Now, that was because Jesus. Now, there was no calculation that would have brought that up. But Jesus at that moment received words from the Father. And he executed it immediately. And that's what it says, faith which walketh by love. So listen, it doesn't matter your background. It doesn't matter where you have been. It doesn't matter what you have done. It doesn't matter. What matters is, is the word of God going to come to you today, right now? And are you going to respond to it? See, because every word that comes to you is love that is speaking to you. And the Father is not going to speak to you and say, you fool, big head. No. Lord, how do I get this done? <laughs> do A, B, C, D. Now, don't start thinking in your mind, how, how am I going to think? I don't know how. No, no, no. Do A, B, C, D. 
Yes, sir. And get up and begin to do it. Praise God. Why? Because this is faith. Words of love has come to you. Begin to act on it. And, and, and then what are you going to see? You are going to see the result because the one who spoke is love. And he is speaking from eternity. And he's the, he's the one who created everything that you see. And he's not done creating. He can still create with your hands. <laughs> it's God. Oh, my time is up. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Get rid of every fear in your heart. And just trust the Lord to speak to you today. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Our hearts are open to receive words words that will become our substance today thank you and we act on every word that we hear in jesus name amen i'll see you tomorrow god bless you bye